What we are focused on is uh, shareholder value creation, long-term compounding with our uh, uh, continuous uh, investment model and I think this again shows uh, what enormous value can be created with a Unilever model. Over the last 10, 5, 3, 1 year uh, continuous top tercile total shareholder return. So a long-term compounded a model like Unilever is a good model for many of our shareholders. Mm -hmm. When we last spoke, uh, you were just launching the strategic review and you said then that you were looking at Reckitt Benke's as food business. It's since been sold to McCormick. What do you make of the multiple it was sold at? Well, it's uh, obviously a very uh, quality asset, clearly, if you look at that price. Uh, we look at many of these things when they come uh, on the market because you always learn something, but we have a very disciplined M&A process and we were very glad uh, this first uh, six months of the year to add uh, Hourglass to our staple of brands, Koala in Latin America, a wonderful home and personal care business and a uh, partnership with the biggest company in Myanmar. So we continue to strengthen our own portfolio and stay focused on that. Mm. On your portfolio, I wanted to ask about the spreads business. What multiple do you think you could achieve for that were you to sell it? Oh, it's a little bit early. It's a uh, tremendously complex process to carve this out of uh, the 60, 70 countries where the business is in. And we're in that process right now. We're working with uh, lots of interesting parties. Uh, to see what the possibilities are and we think we will complete that process probably by the end of this year, early next year and that's what we're focused on for now. So are we talking about a carve out then or an outright sale? Well we have different options that we are looking at. Uh, that could be a sale, it could be a carve out. Uh, so we have different options to see how we can maximize obviously uh, its value but also guarantee the success of that business which as you know is a, is a big and successful business in itself. Yeah indeed um, and any idea at all on the enterprise value it might fetch? No we don't go into that right now. Uh, you'll probably read that by the time we come to the conclusions of what to do with that business. So. <laughs> the last time we spoke as well um, during the strategic review, we talked about M&A and you talked about continuous m and I'm wondering, uh, as you go forward, are you thinking of making any big purchases or just more bolt-on acquisitions? Well, we've had a very uh, good strategy over the last uh, seven, eight, nine years where we've made uh, steady and consistent acquisitions. The Dollar Shave Club doing extremely well for us, uh, Blue Air, air purification business doing extremely well for us, seventh generation and uh, Dermalogica, we're extending these businesses now in different countries, seventh generation into the UK as we talk, Dermalogica into China as we talk, uh, Tresemme now into China. So we have enormous opportunities to take our portfolio and expand them into white space to make these uh, strategic bolt-on acquisitions and put Unilever scale and uh, global reach behind that and create the shareholder value as a result of that. We have been able to grow at about twice the rate as the market. And these results again, excluding spread 3.4%, mm -hmm. overall growth 5.5% in a market that is basically flat. These are very good results. And at the same time driving the financial discipline with 180 basis points operating margin improvement guarantees us that we stay in the top tercile uh, shareholder performance. Mm. Yeah, with these acquisitions that you've just talked about, um, the great majority of them have been in home and personal care. Going mm. forward, are you going to make more acquisitions in that area or in food or both? Well, we continue to look at value enhancing uh, acquisitions and all of our categories are growing now. You talk about food and refreshment. Actually, in the last six months, we grew 4.2% and uh, we've made acquisitions like Crom in Italy that we're now expanding in, in uh, retail. Uh, we've bought Talenti in the US, which is doing very well for us in uh, premium ice cream there. So a combination of organic growth with strong innovation programs mm -hmm. and strategic bolt-on acquisitions, we always look at that in every category if it is value enhancing. And, uh, but it has to be done with enormous discipline so that we pay prices that are reasonable for us and for our shareholders. Absolutely. So shareholders should not expect a big acquisition coming up in the near future? Well, we always look at all the options that might be available to us. We would be stupid not to, but our strategy right now is clearly working for us. What sort of options? Colgate, Palmolive, any others? No, we don't comment on anything that is uh, ahead of us. You'll have to wait for any announcements if we would go that direction. But as I said once more, I just want to stress it once more, we're pretty happy with the strategy that we're doing right now.